Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm hanging out with my sister Mo. Hey everybody. You know Mo. We've baked together, done challenges mm -hmm. together, so many videos over the years. And today we're going to be making another Nerdy Nummies and a very, very special Nerdy Nummies. Five years ago, I dragged my sister Mo on camera for the very first time. Oh she had gosh. never been on a Nerdy Nummies. She did not know what I was doing on YouTube. She was like, what is this? And we made Elsa and Anna princess cakes from scratch. And so for today's video, we're gonna be doing that. It was perfect timing. It's five years later. Five, five yeah. years later and what? Frozen 2 came out. So we're gonna be making princess cakes with the new we have the dolls with their new looks because they have new outfits. Fun and look, you're the younger sister. The younger sister. And I'm the older sister. I even have my maroon on to kind of match her purple cape. And I don't, I'm starting to kind of look more like Elsa. Oh my god, you what? Are. <laughs> you I are. You have the blonde that. going on. I'm like getting blonder every month. Okay. Thank you, hairstylist. When Frozen 3 comes out, I'm gonna be full ice queen. Ooh, you even got look at you got your little snowflakes. I got going snowflake on. earrings Ooh. in. Snowflake earrings in. We have upgraded some methods and styles, but I was just thinking mm -hmm. about it. There's so much stuff that's happened in the last five years. I can't believe it. Okay, one, Mo moved here to California. Yep. From that was Seattle. Big. Got a house. You got a house. Mo got a house. Had a baby. Mo, Mo had a baby. I'm that was big. Now. I yeah. had two dogs. Two fur babies. I moved to a new house. Baked about 7,800 million other nerdy nummies mm -hmm. since then. And Mo's kitchen's getting remodeled, so she's moving back in with me. Yep. And our parents are here, and so it's gonna be like the old it's days a full where like house. everybody's under the same roof, plus three dogs, plus a baby. <laughs> How much has happened in five years? Let There's us know be a lot of people in here. the comments down below. What has happened in the last five years since you saw this very first frozen princess cake video that we made? Yeah. What has changed? What have you been up to? Yeah, what have you been up to? Let us know. I'm an aunt now. You're an aunt. You're a mom now. I'm a mom. I'm a dog mom now. We have houses. We're houses. like adulting. I don't feel like an adult. Like I know Same. I'm an adult, but I don't, I'm not there yet. Our Elsa and Anna princess cake video is one of my favorite videos for so many reasons. One, it's special. It's the first time that we ever baked together. Yep. And it became the number one most viewed cake video on entire YouTube. That is so wild. That blows my mind. I mean, I can't we worked really hard on it. It took us a long, long time. Okay, we've got our dolls. We've got our pans. Ready, set? Let's get started. Okay. Okay, now just cut these open. First step, <laughs> open the dolls. We're just going, we're just doing it, Molly. Molly? What that be I, Midwest? I like that you make fun of my <laughs> accent inflections when you have the exact same ones. I say milk. We already went over this and we say it the same way. Milk? Milk. milk. Did I say milk? Milk. milk. No. Yes. Yes. Oh. yes. Stephanie C. Thank you, Stephanie. <laughs> well, you lived in California a couple more years than I have. So I have a really cool accent going on now. Seattle mixed with Midwest, mixed with a little bit of Southern, mixed with now the Valley. Like throwing some like likes in there and it's like totally like um, bomb. <laughs> Wow. Here's my valley girl for you, Molly. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, girl, literally, that looks so good. Yeah. It's like ridiculous. Um, You guys <laughs> are kind of matching with your side braid going on over <gasps> here. Okay, fancy. I did not know she had that little braid. Mm. We've got our dolls. Look at these boots, by the way. Oh, uh, can we talk about the glow up? I feel like their fashion has definitely come a long way. We have got winter boots with a cute little heel. Woo, winter looks. So the characters, like we said before, they have new looks. Anna is actually wearing black. Mm -hmm. Woo, she's got a black dress with this really cool, it's Purple like a- cape. It's like an adventure vest cape. Vest cape? Robe. Yeah, compared to the dolls that we got the first time, I love their faces. Look at this little smize. They have Look at this little big smirky smizes. face. Oh my gosh, both of them Smirk. are just like. Mm -hmm. She's like, hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's put these dolls, let's set them aside, and let's bake some cakes. Let's go. So we've opened the dolls, and now this is the first step to making our cake. Mo, what do you got in front of you? I have cake flour, baking powder, and salt. And we're just gonna whisk. I have cake <laughs> flour. Ring the bell, ring the bell. And to ring start, the bell, the bell. we have the cake flour, baking powder, and salt. 
we're just gonna whisk them together in a big bowl. Yep, Mo, whisk all those things together. And this recipe is from my cookbook, but it's also the recipe that we use every single time we make a princess cake because it was made, formulated perfectly for the princess cake pan. But you can use literally whatever recipe you want at home. If you're feeling like a chocolate cake or a funfetti cake, whatever you want, you can use whatever batter in these pans. Next step in an electric mixer, Mo's gonna help me mix together our eggs, sugar, vanilla, and lemon extract. We're gonna mix together for like a few minutes until it gets really light and fluffy and almost doubles in size. Just takes a few minutes. And if you're thinking, wow, that's a lot of sugar, it is because technically, we are making three cakes. Yeah. So this isn't one cake, this is enough ingredients for three cakes and then we stack them and then like that and then and it's then a princess. Them, and then they're delicious yeah. and then it's a lot of cake for you to enjoy and it's wonderful. Yeah. These are great for parties. Okay, Mo. Here we go, one. Yeah, one. Here, catch Mo, two. Oh. Catch three. <laughs> okay. okay. Ready, ready? ready? Hold on, hold on. Three, four, five, six. Seven! Oh! Okay, oh, almost geez. had it, almost had it. Oh, this is fun. This is a good way to prank your sister. Just throw eggs at her. <laughs> then the extracts. We've got vanilla, we've got lemon. Ta-da! Oh, that smells the delicious lemon. The lemon together. Is really strong and oh, smells sm so Ready, good ready? There. Pretend I'm like Elsa and I'm making like snowflakes, but in this way I'm making extracts flying into your nose. I want a candle out of that. I want that to be a candle. A lemon vanilla candle? Yeah. Can we make that? What's oh that? my gosh, we could totally make that. I've made a candle before. It was a little poop one. Ew. <laughs> it was a ra It was a rainbow poop one. Oh my gosh, no. Did I get you? It's kind of payback, right? I feel like that was payback because I just got a whole bunch of vanilla thrown at me. Mo, what did I ever do to deserve this? Seven. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, now that this is done mixing, we're gonna take our melted butter, mm -hmm. buttermilk, mm -hmm. and milk and whisk it together in a bowl. And I'm using this bowl. It's so cute. I found these at World Market. This is not sponsored, but I love these bowls. They're like light. They have a little pour spigot. The pour spigot is amazing. And they have a grippy on the bottom. So when you're mixing, it doesn't like move too much and a handle. Here we go, ready? They come in different colors, everybody. Check out World Market. Oh my god. And goodness. World Market, like if you wanna like send us some bowls for like the holidays, I guess it, we would love it. Okay, World Market. I'm just saying, World Market, anybody out there? <laughs> Wanna the send, vibes out? Just want to send a little baker, like some baking bowls. I'll mix this together, Molly. You're so yeah, slow. I, I've kind of been doing a lot, actually, so if you could pick up some, some of the work, that'd be great. Molly's been be doing great. a lot, meaning the stand mixer does everything for her. <laughs> you gotta get it in there, though. Molly, how are you gonna say you did a lot when the machine did it? Okay, next step is taking our dry mixture and mixing it into our egg mixture. All right, this is a lot. Bet you, bet you wish you had a pour spigot. I actually do. This is kind of getting But you way. don't. This is not like the See, it. Mo, this is why I want all bowls with the pour spigot, be a, a little spout, because this. <laughs> what was that? Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's perfect. Molly, you look like you've been playing in the snow. Look at her hands. It, she looks like she just built a snowman. Look at you. <laughs> oh my gosh, it looks like snow. Oh, there we go. That's looking good. There we go. Okay. All right, next my mixture. Oh, Ooh. look how easy it is to pour with my pour spout. Love it. How did we get so messy, huh? How'd this happen? <laughs> Somebody threw eggs at me earlier or something. Whatever. It's really weird. Our batter is ready. It's time to bake. We're gonna pour it evenly into these three pans. You want me to scoop? Yeah, you okay. scoop. Okay. Ready? We're just doing an eyeballing technique. We're just kind of guessing. Like, okay, that's good-ish. So next one, next one, next one. Here we go, here we okay, go. Okay, okay. Tilt it up a little bit. Two. Okay, go, go, go. Ah. 
Okay. You nailed it. Just don't get the batter in the hole in the middle because it goes right through. Because these are kind of like bunt pans. They'll just end up on your counter. All of the batter is in the pan and now we're going to bake these cakes. You're going to heat your oven to 350 degrees and bake for about 35 to 40 minutes. And the great thing about these, you pop them in the oven all at the same time and they bake Love all that. at the same time even Love though that. they're different sizes. Boom! That's science! We invented that. Love that. Both our cakes have baked. Mm -hmm. They've had plenty of time to cool. We have leveled them, and now yeah, they and we are made ready two of them. And we made two because we we recorded two doing one, but we actually baked two of them because I realized we'll need two cakes. We have our Anna. <laughs> And we'll have our Elsa. Think, that was thinking. That was thinking. So, it's a lot of cake. Now we're going to show you how we're going to assemble these in front of this. We each have cake plates. Whatever you're going to serve it on, do it now. And then we're going to, to decorate, be using turntables. Ooh. Ooh. Just makes it really professional looking. All right, so now we're going to assemble our cake. We're going to take the largest circle cake and stick it in the middle of your cake board. Then you're gonna take some buttercream icing. Whoa, Mo! Okay, Mo put these bags together. Look how much buttercream this is. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a big old <laughs> cake. Here, let me cut it for you. <laughs> oh my gosh! a cake to this frost is, right now. This is enough for a wedding cake. It is, it is cold and frosty up in, what is it, Ravendale? Evendale? Ravendale? Where do they live? Ra in Ravendale? <laughs> Edmondale? Are you even a mom? Don't all moms know where the frozen, no they don't, they don't care. They haven't slept in years. They haven't slept they in haven't years. Molly hasn't slept. What's your guess? Frostydale. Arendelle. Arendelle! Okay, I get like half a point. That was really close. I had the same amount of syllables. You got the you, Dale. You got the Dale. If you say it really fast, you probably couldn't tell the difference. Yeah, all right. Let's pipe some icing on our first layer. Do you like how I gave myself points in a game we're not playing? I like. I feel like you always give yourself points. And that's really great. If you're having a day and you're just like, you know what, I get a point for that. Little that's victories, kind of, right? That's good. Yeah, you want your little victories. And then using an offset spatula, just apply some gentle pressure and smooth out the icing. Yeah. And what's really cool about this, if you want your cake to be a little taller, you put a little bit more icing. And if you want it to be shorter, you just reduce the amount of icing so you can get your doll out. And just make sure as you're stacking the cake that it's gonna hit at the waist where you want it to. So just mm -hmm. eyeball it as you go. Let's add the next layer. Boop. Let's put another. Woo! Look all this icing. Mo, how much easier is it to make a cake this way than the first time we did it? This is a joke, how easy it is. <laughs> it, it's just flat out a joke. We spent over nine hours. It was a lot of time. We were very, we were carving. Plop, okay, last layer. Oh Mine's a bit tall, so I'm gonna press it down a little bit more, reduce my icing just a little bit. Now that we've got our cakes assembled, we're gonna cover them with icing. You just need a thin layer. We are gonna be covering it with fondant this time. Last time we did buttercream, but we are upping it. We're upping the game. Yeah, we're, we're getting, getting, well, we're getting we're intermediate getting up in here. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah, we're upping the decoration to match their, yeah. their new wardrobe, their new fashion. Yeah, they had a glow up, so so is our decorating. So we're just gonna cover the whole cake with icing and smooth it out using the spatula. And remember, it doesn't need to look perfect because we're gonna cover it with fondant. Hey Molly, you remember that one dress that was on the internet that people were like, it looks blue. No, it looks gold. gold. Blue and which, gold? Do you remember which one you saw? I saw blue. Which one did you see? I don't remember. I you wanna I... see if we see the same color? Yeah. It's blue. I see gold right now. What? I what? see I see this, I see this color as it's like blue. a light blue, but then the details is gold. Black. What? Are you kidding me right now? No, look, see this top part right there, that's gold. What color is that to you? Black. What? It's One's black and, and blue. Stephanie, what do you see? Okay, tiebreaker. Just look at it, what does it look like to you? Blue and black. Blue and black. What? Yeah. It's blue and black. I see white and gold. What? Yeah. You see white and gold? Stop. No, yes. it is blue and black. Stop. It's blue and black. I'm just smoothing out the icing on the cake. It doesn't need to look perfect because we're gonna cover it with fondant, but just keep spinning it around till it's as smooth as you'd like. Now, it doesn't need to look perfect, but you do wanna make it smooth because we're gonna place fondant over the top and we don't want any big wrinkles in it. I don't have steamers in Evendale. 
Avondale? Ave Riverdale. Riverdale. No, Evan, Riv, uh. Arendale. 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 Mo, we live in Los Angeles, Dale. Did you know you're called an Angelino? Who is? You. Me? Yeah. I'm an Angelino. An Angelino. I love that. That's what they call residents. Of like, Los Angeles? Like we used Angeles? to be Seattle Lights, and now we're Angelinos. <gasps> Like we're angels, like the city of lost angels. You frost again. What am I, an Angelino? Yep. An Angelo. Yeah. What am I? A Michelangelo. I'm Michelangelo. <laughs> Angelino Pansino. Oh! Oh my <laughs> Dude, that gosh. Really yes. <laughs> Molly, I want a hoodie. Me too. Can I have one for Christmas? Oh, I'm sorry. I just put. <laughs> you know what you? How rude! I didn't know Excuse that. me. <laughs> Well, you have frosting on your forehead and I didn't tell you. Wait, so. I have frosting on my forehead. <laughs> <laughs> now it is time for my favorite part. It is time to decorate. We've got our cakes stacked, assembled, and iced. And we're going to start with Elsa, because she's the oldest. <laughs> oh, OK. OK, oldest goes first. Oldest goes first. <laughs> first but not last, Molly Bug. Yep. Wait, I didn't say that right, <laughs> did I? <laughs> no, it's last but not least. <laughs> We're doing Oops. Elsa. So in front of me, I've rolled out a little bit of marshmallow fondant. I love it because it's light and fluffy and tastes good. And we've dyed it with a little bit of blue and just a little bit of purple to look more like Elsa's yeah. new look. Okay, we've okay. rolled it out flat. Big piece of fondant. Now, Molly, I've sprinkled a little bit of powdered sugar onto uh -huh. the rolling pin. Now, this rolling pin doesn't have handles. It's called a fondant rolling pin. And Mo's just gently rolling the fondant Do on top. Roll? Yeah, yeah, let me bring it over roll here for over. you. Okay, teamwork. Okay, ready? Then place it on there. I'll help guys. Roll the fondant over the top. Perfect. Ta -da! Ta -da! Now, usually, and you've seen us do this technique a few times, but today for the design, we're going to do something a little bit different. We are going to position the fondant right now to make the dress look good while the fondant is very soft and moldable, but we are going to be using a sharp cutting knife and cutting a triangle in the front of the dress. Because mm -hmm. Anna and Elsa in Frozen 2, they both wear cloaks and capes, and so we're going to show both of those. But it's going to be one one layer because if you add a lot of layers of fondant it just starts to get really big and the and bigger pieces that you use the easier it is to tear so this being the biggest piece that we're using is really good it's easier to work with right okay where do you want to cut her I'm thinking here I've just used a sharp cutting knife to kind of trace where I'm gonna cut and now I'm actually gonna cut I'm gonna do it Mo Ooh. okay and then Mo if you want to trim the back if you want to get a little knife out of the drawer and just trim the excess. She's trekking through the forest. She needs She's to be able busy. to move bit better than that. She can't yeah. worry about that getting caught up on stuff. Mo, well, how's it looking back there? Better. Oh, better. way better. She can That's... move better through the woods now. Look at that. That's what I'm yeah. talking yeah, about. Help it roll out. All right, I'm going to I'm going to help your little folds a little bit. But oh. now I've cut this triangle in the front, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel it off, but very gently. I'm going to place it on top of this lighter blue fondant that I've rolled out here. Now we're just gonna cut out the same shape so that it's really similar. Yep. I feel like Justine would be really proud of you right now. Oh, would she? Like yeah. my really good like cutting yeah. skills. I mean that was fancy stuff. knife work. Thank you. So Mo, I made you something. Aww. Okay, well actually we can use that later. It has a little bit of frosting. We'll stick it onto her arms for a dress. Oh, for her bodice. Yeah. 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 Okay, let me stick this on the front now. Okay, like ready? a little line it up piece. at the line it up at the top. Can you see on that side? There oh we my go. gosh. There yes. we go. Just gently press together to get a perfect fit and cut off the excess fondant. We're gonna use the same technique when we're making the Anna cake, mm -hmm. covering her with purple, and then doing this triangle piece of black in the front. Mm -hmm. But I think hers is a little bigger. Yeah, yeah, it's a little bigger. Now that our fondant is over our cake, we're gonna mm -hmm. take our Elsa doll and yep. use the excess fondant that we trimmed off the bottom in both colors yes. and we're gonna make her bodice on her top before we stick her into the cake. And I'm just cutting off more excess fondant. Perfect. I'm just touching her up. Give another little touch up. Now that we have her bodice on, we're mm -hmm. just gonna stick her into the cake. Yeah, we just gently, gently, gently. Be gentle, Molly. Yeah, just push her head in there. 
perfect. Then for our connecting piece, we have a little bit of darker blue fondant. It's just a few shades darker than this color. Mm -hmm. So we have a light blue, a medium blue, and then a darker blue. And we're gonna use this, I'm gonna roll it out. I press flat on one side and then a little flat on the other. So it's almost like a slight triangle shape and put it all the way around to connect the doll to the cake. Yeah. And then it's time for Anna. Now we have <laughs> our purple fondant and we're gonna use the same technique. So Mo, you it gently roll it on there. Make sure it's not even. If it goes on a little off-centered or some sides are a little short, that's okay, because right now it's warm, it's workable, it's movable, but you have to move very slow. That's the trick too, so you don't get a tear. If I just pulled it down right now, it would tear, but what you do is grab a hold and gently pull, gently pull, gently pull, gently pull and it will gently stretch. It will take this little cocktail dress to a full length. We'll, we'll be informal in two seconds. So I'm pressing down on this side so that we can cut a bigger triangle out for Anna. Whoa, just like so and place here. Line it up. Now that we have Anna's bodice done, we're gonna Woo! stick her in the cake. Place her in Molly, nice and gentle. Da -do. Wait, she still has her boots on. You have to have boots to trek through the forest. Molly, but we took Elsa's off. We did it. We did it? No. Oh, she made it. Now we're gonna use more purple fondant to connect the top of the doll with the bottom of the dress mm -hmm. and add some pink details to the front. Cut two long rectangle strips and place them down the front. Mm -hmm. Here you go, Mo. All right. Oh, this hides any creases perfectly. This is Isn't this wonderful. great? Okay, we have been decorating and we are almost done. We've got all the fondant on our princess cakes. They are looking incredible and now we are adding the last final details with a little buttercream icing. We put them in piping bags with number one tips at the end to get those really little cute details that we want. The number one tip is the smallest tip that they make. So, so it's perfect for those little lines, just mm -hmm. that little extra Oomph. I just dyed the buttercream kind of a gold mustardy brown mm -hmm. color to match on his dress and just piping details on the front and on the arms and then at the bottom of her her black dress in the front to get little extra details. I also used a little bit of brown fondant to mm -hmm. add more details to the dress, which is totally optional. You don't have to, but I thought it would really pull in her look. So around her cuffs and then yeah. just at the bottom of her dress and her belt. We've been decorating all day mm -hmm. and Pretty soon I get to play with baby Grayson before bedtime. Before bedtime. Yeah, he that's needs playtime. It. People say read books, do quiet activities mm -hmm. before bedtime, and that's no, not great. Not you him. You need to play no. with that man. You need to wear him out. You need to play games. He's you need to help so active. Walk. Okay, back to decorating so we can play with cute babies. Okay, we gotta go. On her belt, I'm just piping a little snowflake icy design. I'm putting a little bit of detail on her shoulders mm -hmm. and at the bottom of her dress. Now I'm not done with the bottom of the dress. I'm gonna keep going all the way around and you don't have to do this, but I'm being a little bit extra. Mo knows this. I mean, look at her earrings. Okay. Talk about being oh, extra. okay. Okay. Well, <laughs> she's calling me out, but I found a little bit of sanding sugar in the pantry, and I'm using a little buttercream icing, mm -hmm. and I'm just sticking on a few to look a little blingy, just like little Elsa glamorous, does. Little more, she little looks icy, little more her, shimmery. Well, that's what her outfit looks like. Yeah. And I did not have the time to cover the whole thing in bling, but if you do, let me know because I mean, you should be I'm just doing a little if bit. If you're a magic snow queen, <gasps> that's what I feel like. Right? Yes. <gasps> One, two, three. Ta-da! <laughs> Here are the Anna and Elsa princess cakes that we made today. A big thank you to you guys for suggesting this. These are 2.0. Anna and Elsa 2.0 princess cakes that we made today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was so much fun to make. We are loving the outfits mm -hmm. of the new Frozen 2. The glow up is real. Right. These ladies are looking so good in their outfits. They are ready. They are ready to go on adventures. I personally think our baking skills have upgraded since the first time we made this video. So let us know in the comments down below. Do you think Mo and our skills have upgraded from the first video? I'm gonna put a link down below to the first video. So watch that video <laughs> and then watch this video and let us know. I think we did it. I think we did way better than the yeah, first video. I think we stepped me? up. Yeah, not only did we use the princess pants, Boom. but we used 
fondant. Yes. We use sanding sugar. We sanding use sugar. Number one tip. Number one we, tip. I, I mean, look Not at her number hairdo. two. They're even better. Like she has bangs in her twist back. She has her fine. Yeah, I braid. tried to do like a twisty like, braid, but then it got too big, and then Louis yeah. had to redo it. it happens, happens. It was. Um, I'm learning. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. We will take a bunch of pictures and post them online, and the recipe in the description. Also, please let us know if you have any other ideas for any other nerdy nummies and we will do our best to make it happen if you guys like baking videos and you love these cakes please give this video a thumbs up click subscribe ring the bell to receive notifications every time i post a new video bye, bye.